Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix King Gaming. Today we are going to be playing Dead Island Definitive Edition. Let's get on into it. The game that redefined the zombie genre fully remastered. Paradise meets hell. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse. Experience of a lifetime and now more beautiful than ever. Caught in the midst of an epic zombie apocalypse on the tropical island of Bounty. Your only thought is survival, so let's stop talking and let's get playing. This game is rated M for Mature 17 Plus. So, let's get playing. And we are playing this on Microsoft Project X Cloud. Woo! Getting your game ready. Enjoy and please share your feedback with more. And here we go Deep Silver. Techland. Fangs that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, but you have. Sandy. Yeah. Shrunk in the head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, put your stuff. All right, we got some music playing. Unfortunately, due to copyrights, we gotta talk during this. But. There are some subtitles down there. Go ahead and read those. Mmm. We got a dance party going on, folks. Woo woo. And people are telling us to watch it. Woo. Woo 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 woo. We're up with the DJ. Yeah, we're partying. Mmm. Gotta have some cola. Mmm. Ooh, let's make a fool out of ourselves. Yeah. Oh, and we're passed out on the ground. Trying to get some help. So is this how the zombie apocalypse starts? Ooh, they're calling us a drunk jerk, guys. Ooh, we just had some cola, though. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. From the zombies. Oh. It's gonna be true. We're a zombie apocalypse, man. Woo! 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 Are you okay? Can you hear me? No, I'm dead. I'm a zombie. This is the woman's restroom. Wow. This is interesting. Never played the series before, but wow. All right, this is very interesting. I guess we're gonna have to put some parentals on this video. Hmm. I've never, I guess I'll have to figure that out if we'll have to put restrictions on this video or not, because that was a little intense. Gotta look into YouTube standards and everything. But it's a video game. You're going to have these. So we'll just wait and see until we post it. This game uses an autosave feature. Please do not turn off the console when this icon is displayed. Alright, we're going to bump that up a couple. We're going to hit play. And new game. Logan. Karina, Zion, Simbi, Ryder, Logan. Alright guys, just a friendly reminder, this game is rated M for Mature 17+. plus. So don't let your little ones play this game unless you, the adult, allow it. 
As always, here on Phoenix King Gaming, we like to remind you, if your parent does not approve this, then, I don't know, you do you. We're not going to tell you what to do. We're going with Logan. Oh, man. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. <laughs> man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey, for Christ's sake. Yes, I drank a few beers now and then, popped occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the team quacks you shoot me up with just so I could play. And sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswapped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl still be alive. That's right. That's right. It's his goddamn fault. I shattered my leg in six goddamn places. So I had a few drinks in me. So what the fuck? I drive drunk better than I do sober anyway. Of course, complain was shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass. I violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi-pro in fucking Canada. But I'm still a name. Oh, yeah. I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me for class halfway around the goddamn world. Because my name still means something. Logan Carter is no goddamn douchebag. Wow, we're going to go with the sexiest quarterback, but... Let's go ahead and listen to all of them. I hate rich assholes, which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for, this pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoit to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. You think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl. And the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a coolie. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off, and no one would care, because I was nothing, a nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just gelded him. One day, I'm going to have to go back and finish the job. Okay, before we continue with these character bios, we're just going to be doing some friendly announcing. This game is rated Mature 17+. plus, But, not only that, just looking up some of the ratings here. It's blood and gore, intense violence, strong language, and the use of drugs. We do not entitle any such drugs on Phoenix King Gaming. Um, yeah, the language is strong, but it's a video game. We're going to continue with the bios. My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wo Xing Wo Triad. And I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, 
I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask, for I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. Sam B. I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two. That's where he died. I can go. Mama didn't ever recover from that. Just drank, did crap, and any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. And I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. My mind just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? <laughs> We're right to the top of the hip hop charts, like a motherfucking rocket. But suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties. Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Psh, I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that grave train wasn't there going in. So I did another song, and another song. Nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Ten years, man. Yeah, I can still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now nah, it's just Reno or Laughlin. Some motherfucking cruise shit. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice. Right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. All right. Moving on to Ryder. Is he not going to talk? I guess not. For you all to read, I'll let it scroll for you. My wife convinced me to come here with her because she thought I would be a sailor. Alright guys, this video is just to go through the character bi bios, but the next video is going to be some gameplay with this beautiful game. This, this is going to be an interesting one. So, stay with us and join us for the lovely game that this is going to be. And we've gone through all of our character bios. We're going to go with Logan when we come back. As always, stay awesome. We will see you in the next episode.